Christ's time is short. I cannot get young people to understand how brief life is, how quickly it passes. It seems like yesterday I was in school. And we all get the same amount in a day. Every day is 24 hours. And some people are very, very fruitful and effective, and some people just waste their time day after day after day. And that's a choice that we make. But there's one thing about time. Once it goes by, you never get it back. And they said, what is your greatest surprise in life? And I answered, the brevity of life. If, I told, if someone had told me when I was 20 years old that life was very short and would pass just like that, I wouldn't have believed it. And if I tell you that, you don't believe it either. Every morning we have 86,400 seconds to spend and to invest. And each day the bank named time opens a new account for you and for me. It allows no balances and no overdrafts. If you fail to use the day's deposits, the loss is yours. So how tragic it is to waste any day of your life. I think we need to live every day like it was our very last one. There may not be a tomorrow for you and for me because there's a warning to time. Time is running out for all of us. Time is too short for indecision and vacillation. Do not halt between two opinions. Fools say that time is long. Don't ever waste a day. The family that needs you, spend more time now. Write that letter home now that you've been meaning to write. Money you ought to give, give now. Time for study, do it now. People you ought to witness to, do it now. Every time the clock ticks, it seems to say now, today. You know, I think if I had life to start over again in seminary like you are here, I'd write down my priorities in life. And I'd get committed to certain priorities. I'd try to carefully plan my life like Albert Schweitzer did. I admire that part of his life where he carefully planned it. And then he lived according to that plan. I just became much more aware of time and how, how foolish it is to waste any day that you have and live it to the absolute fullest that we can live it. So I want to just give you a, a few things that I think will help you maybe get your day going in the right direction and maybe affect the whole rest of your day. And I hope it helps you every single day of your life. What are some of your mornings like? Do you Go to bed intending to get up and spend time with God, but then when the alarm goes off, you hit the snooze. Then you hit the snooze again, then you hit the snooze again. And then you've laid in bed too long, and so then you get up, and of course now you have no time for anything. And you're in a frenzy, and you're in a rush, and so that makes you grouchy. And of course the devil will play the game with you, and he'll make sure that that's the day you can't find your car keys, and that's the day nobody does anything that's right and then you you know you've yelled at the kids and now you're feeling bad about that and your mom gave you a call to say good morning you grouched at her because you didn't have time so now you feel bad about that and you get in your car and you get down almost to the entrance to your subdivision you realize you left your cell phone at home and so that adds to your frustration now you got to hurry up and go back and get that then you get in the house and you can't find it then you get on the highway and the traffic's bad and you know you're going to be late for work so you're thinking of all the excuses you can give. And you finally get there and you're basically frustrated, upset, got this little weight of condemnation on you because of the way you acted. You know you should have spent time with God, you didn't do it. And the whole day basically just becomes a nightmare.